This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by HostGator Web Hosting. Hey, what's up guys, Soldier Knows Best here. I'm about to give you my review of the Canon X810, which is a professional consumer camcorder. And it's professional because it has all the settings and customizations and inputs and, and just the, the video quality itself is really, really nice. Uh, but still, it's as easy to use as a regular consumer camcorder as well. It's not that hard to learn. So I'm gonna talk about the design, the hardware, you already know the drill, and go, go into the software and go into the actual video quality as well. So it's gonna jump right into it uh, with the design and the hardware. Let I me mean, first start off and say that this camcorder is very lightweight. It's not big at all either. Um, the Size and just the weight is perfect and you think professional sometimes you may think something that may be a little bit heavier and bigger than normal this is just a perfect size I'm um, out there and also soon we're going to jump inside the camera what we got going on in there um, the camera itself inside has a native 1920 by 1080 CMOS image sensor it was gonna be great for um, low light sensitivity and also it does have 64 gigabytes of internal flash storage that gets you about 24 hours of 720p HD video which is not bad at all now this camera sports a 3.5 inch touchscreen, which does swivel around. So if you can do some self-portrait shots, you can do that as well. And also too, on the touchscreen itself, it does have a button for the manual and autofocus uh, controls there. And also too, you can turn off or turn on the powered IS, the image stabilization that's inside this camera as well. Now, right behind the, uh, the screen, once you pull it out, uh, you'll find that it has a dual, yes, dual SD card slot. So you'll be able to put two different SD cards in here. And that's gonna be great for relay recording. So um, if you know you're recording on, on your, your internal flash, Storage and that fills up while you're recording. You don't need to stop, don't need to do anything. It automatically starts um, recording on that first memory card, then it'll go to the second memory card if needed. So that's pretty nice. You can also choose to have the camera record on two SD cards at the same exact time for an instant backup solution. So it's gonna be great recording your son's graduation and you just don't want anything to happen to that one memory card. You know you're gonna back up anyway. This would be a great solution for you out there just to make sure you don't lose any important or very memorable stuff out there. And this camera does also have the plethora of inputs and outputs. You can plug in a microphone, an external microphone. You want to go ahead and use that. Also, too, you can do HDMI out, so you can plug the camera directly to an HDTV and play it back on that. Another good thing about this camera, it does have a manual focus ring, which is very, very nice. It's right there um, behind the lens on the camera itself. So if you don't want to be using autofocus and have a little bit more control, uh, most camcorders don't actually give you this feature. So this is pretty nice to be able to do this. And it's, it's in a place similar to what you'll find on a DSLR where you just twist it uh, right there at the front. So I really do like the manual focus ring. This camera does also come with a handle, which is detachable, so you don't have to keep it on the camera itself. But it's going to be great if you want to hold your camera down at a low angle and shoot some footage. But also, too, it does have some inputs on there. It has dual XLR inputs. Also, too, it does have the zoom controls and the shutter button as well. And it does have a hot shoot mount at the top there. So you want to put like uh, something like a Rode video mic or something like that on the top of the camera, you can do that as well. And on the left-hand side, you'll find a ton of audio controls. So you want to really be able to take advantage and take control of that external microphone that you may be mounting to this camcorder. You can plug that in and then be able to customize all the different audio settings right there on the left-hand side. Now, one flaw of the handle itself is that sometimes when you shake or move the camera, you can hear some rattling going on there um, up there by the audio control, which is very weird. I'm going to let you hear it right now. Yeah, it doesn't make sense, right? I don't know why that is happening in the camera, especially the camera that costs this much. So um, some people have reported that they, they were able to hear that rattling back on their footage that they took uh, with the camcorder, which is definitely unfortunate. Uh, but sometimes uh, some people don't get that rattling at all. So I think it's a, a bad batch of camcorders that went through this. But with my camcorder, I do have that problem. So I am telling you. Now the lens on this camera is a wide angle lens and also too does have 10 times optical zoom so it'll be able to get you nice and up close to the action. And it does have an eight bladed iris from the normal six bladed iris and basically that's what causes the background defocus or the bokeh that you find in your video. So your subject would be perfectly in focus and the background would be blurry, very nice effect. So that will definitely help with that. And it does also have an optical image stabilization so if you have shaking hands or you're moving and walking, you're not on the tripod, it'll help even things out and smooth things out. And the software that Canon put into this camera is pretty nice, simple, and easy to use. It has a lot of different settings and customization that you can do with it. Um, you can really get down to the, the nitty gritty there and really make and, and edit and change things exactly the way you want to. It also does have pretty good object of people tracking. You simply tap on the screen on the object of the person that you wanted to focus on, and it does a pretty good job at keeping up with it and following it around the screen. But I will say the touch screen does suck a little bit because it doesn't always track your finger um, correctly. So that's one thing I, I ran into a lot. And you've probably seen me in this demo uh, where I'm just moving my finger but it's not tracking it at all so that's something that they can definitely improve the next version of this but i think the software overall is pretty good and now it's going to get to the video quality itself and that's probably what you've been waiting for it's going to see how this camera actually performs so i, I took some shots in some different locations um some outside some indoors some low light also too i did take some infrared shots if you didn't know already because i didn't tell you earlier uh, but it, on the handle itself it does have a, a an infrared little uh, i don't know what to call it but infrared thing at the front of it uh, so you can take some nighttime shots as well which you can be pretty interesting for some cases but anyway i'm going to shut up and show you some video quality and make sure you are watching in 1080p hd
Hello? State your name. Hi, this is Tim Knows Best. Before I start, let's get a word from my sponsor, Netflix. Hi, this is Netflix. You look like a ashy Larry. On our way to the beach to collect some sand. Sounds stupid, I know. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Oh, damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Shut up. We we're walking back to the house where we got a pail of sand. You look stupid. So as you can see, the camcorder takes very, very nice, high quality HD video. And the sound is not too bad at all, but you still probably want to use an external microphone. And also too, the video quality isn't you know better than some of those DSLRs out there. I don't know what it is. DSLRs just still uh, reign as king as far as video quality. But this camcorder does a really good job of HD video. Plus it has all the different settings and customizations that you can't get with the DSLR um, in order to control the video and the audio and stuff like that right here on the camcorder itself. Now again, two faults that I do have the camcorder is that the touchscreen isn't as responsive as I would want one or two and also to the rattling in the handle uh, next up to the uh, the audio controls there definitely is inexcusable uh, but besides the two things I think the camcorder is a very nice lightweight package but also powerful and it would be great for anybody who's recording a soccer game to recording a, a, a short film or whatever you want to do with it and this camcorder is pretty nice so you can find this for about two thousand dollars on the internet you can find it a little bit cheaper on Amazon and some other places but two thousand dollars about the average price for this camcorder that's what Canon sells it for uh, but I think this is a really good arsenal um, arsenal but it's really good camcorder again to be in anybody's video arsenal so, so anyway that's my review on the camcorder but before we head out of here it's going to take one last look at our sponsor for this video and today's sponsor is HostGator. Sometimes it can be tough to find a good place to host your website or your blog, but HostGator.com has very, very affordable pricing starting as low as $3.96 a month, then gets your website up and running just a matter of minutes and they have over 4,000 templates to choose from to have your website looking nice. They get unlimited disk space and unlimited bandwidth and also too, you'll get $100 on Google AdWords to market your site and they have a 45 day money back guarantee. So go over to HostGator.com and enter in the coupon code SOLDIERNOSE at checkout. You get up to 25% off on your first order or your first month free. Again, the coupon code is soldier knows all right guys again thanks for watching this video please leave a comment down below about what you think about the canon x a10 also too about the video quality that this thing can produce so anyway guys i will catch you i'll actually film you later peace I'm doing a little paparazzi here looking for beyonce well actually i love to do the infrared mode with her uh feel free to watch my other videos i'm gonna give a uh, have a giveaway it's going to be two large fries from McDonald's, all right? So leave a comment below and you'll get two large fries from McDonald's. All right, I'll catch you later. Peace. I'm going to upload this shit. <laughs> I'm going to upload it too, right?